welcome. It has been shown that practicing meditation while receiving treatment for disease increases the effectiveness and decreases the healing time significantly. So I'd love to guide you through a meditation that you can use while you're undergoing any kind of treatment for cancer or any other type of disease. So let's begin just by noticing where you are. So look around you, take it in, notice where you are. Notice the things that you see, notice the temperature, maybe the smells, sounds. And as you begin to take in where you are, draw your attention to your body sitting or lying down. And notice every part of your body that's resting on the ground or a chair or a table. And feel the contact of your body starting with your feet, the back of your legs, hips, your back. Notice where your arms and hands are resting, the back of your head, perhaps, if you're lying down. And just sense the relationship between your body and the surface that it's resting on. Notice if it's soft or hard, it's cool or warm, it's smooth or rough. And as you begin to sense your body in this moment, right where it is, start to notice your breath. Whatever it's doing, you're breathing. And just begin to notice how deep is your breath. Notice if it's easy to breathe or if it's hard to breathe. Notice when you breathe in, what parts of your body move in response to your breath. Do you feel it more in your chest? Do you feel your abdomen, your belly, your sides? Do you feel your shoulders, your neck? You feel the breath moving in through your nostrils. Notice how your body moves in response to your inhalation. And notice what parts of your body move. And as you breathe out, again, notice just how your body responds to the movement of your air as it leaves your body. You're just taking your attention to notice how your body responds to your in-breath and to your out-breath. Allowing your mind to be curious about how it's responding and how it moves, how it feels. And gradually, as you just notice the way your body is naturally breathing, bring your attention to the base of your nostrils, to the moment your breath first enters your nose. 
Sense it moving up through the nostrils to the inner corners of the eyes. And then follow your breath back down and out through the nose. But keep your attention mostly right at the moment your breath first enters your body. As though you are there to greet it. And then as the breath leaves your body, just like you would walk a friend out to their car who's visited your home, allow your attention to follow your breath out through the nose and out as far as it goes. Then inhale being present as your breath, just like a friend, first enters the door. And be with the breath, following it out as far out as it goes. Inhaling and exhaling. Gradually, over the course of the next few moments, allow your breath to soften. It will naturally start to slow down and it will naturally start to lengthen. So there's no need to force it. Just observing and being present the moment the breath first enters the threshold and then allow your awareness like a loving friend to follow it back out and down as far as it goes. You're the observer of your breath. You're the friend. Now allow your attention to move a little higher. So you feel the breath as it first enters the nostrils, but now sense the breath flowing up into the ridge of the nose, right where the inner corners of your eyes meet. And hone your attention there, even though a part of your attention will also follow the breath back down and out as far as it goes. The inhale draws up and in, the ridge of the nose, the inner corners of the eyes. You can even allow your gaze to draw inward a little bit with your eyelids closed. And follow it back down and out as far as it goes. Linking one breath right into the next. So it's one continuous movement, movement that's natural and effortless. This is a movement that has an intelligence to it. This is already happening 24 seven, even when we're not paying any attention to it. Meditation simply means the process of paying attention. And what we're paying attention to grows. And as we pay attention to our breath, which happens to be our life force, our life force grows. Each inhalation brings in nourishment, newness, life. Each exhalation cleanses, removing toxins and fatigue, pain and tension. And that's why we want to follow the breath all the way out. Without forcing, without pushing, 
just with awareness that you fully exhale, drawing your awareness back into the inner corners of the eyes as you breathe in, hones in your attention on this new life that's being drawn in, breath by breath. Now allow your attention to move a little higher, right to the center of your eyebrows. So as you breathe in, from the moment it, the breath first touches your nostrils, it follows up in through the inner corners of the eyes, right into the center point between the eyebrows. And then follow the breath back down and out. And as you hone in your attention right there at the center of the eyebrows, allow a small portion of your attention to follow your breath. Maybe you notice how your in-breath is slightly cooler than your out-breath. See if you can feel the sensation of the temperature of your breath and the difference between your inhale and your exhale. Breathing in and out, honing in on this point right in between the eyebrows, drawing this life force right into that space. Following the breath out as far as it goes, releasing toxins, fatigue, tension, pain, and disease. Now bring your awareness a little higher and deeper. So as you breathe in, feeling the breath enter the nose, up through the inner corners of the eyes, and the eyebrow center, take your awareness to the center of your forehead, but not just on the surface of the skin, right in the center of the forehead and deep in the center of the, of the brain. So it's as if you had a line going from the center of your forehead back into the center of your brain and then a line from the top of your head down and there's an intersecting point see if it's possible to bring your awareness from the moment your breath first enters your nostrils up in through the corners of the eyes the eyebrow center and then deep into the center of your brain and then follow your awareness and breath down and out as far as it goes. In and out. Be present with your breath. recognize its incredible intelligence in knowing how to sustain your life and its unconditional love that it keeps breathing for you even when you're paying no attention to it. unconditionally, selflessly offering its life to our bodies with every inhalation and every exhalation.
Now see if you can bring your awareness even higher. Breathing in, you bring your awareness all the way to the very top of your head. Then as you exhale, take your attention down the core of your body, all the way down to your feet. As you breathe in, draw awareness from the soles of your feet up through the legs and through the core of your body, the deepest part of your body up to the top of your head. And follow the breath down and back up, allowing your awareness to ride on the flow of your breath like waves of relaxation waves of peace. You can sense that as you breathe in and you draw awareness up through the body, that your body is filled with light. And as you breathe out and down, this light, this breath and awareness washes away disease. It carries away your fear, your pain. And with each new in-breath, your body is filled with light again. It's filled with nourishment, compassion, each exhalation is another cleansing, another washing away, another let go. Gradually, you may notice that your breath wants to slow down just a little more without force. Notice if your breath begins to slow down, if it begins to lengthen. With your attention anchored in this movement of awareness from the soles of your feet to the top of your head and back down. Notice the state of your mind, the state of your breath, the state of your body. Now we'll move to another breathing practice that helps to hone in your life force and allows the life force to radiate from your core out through every cell of your body and out into the space around you. But it also creates a, a bubble of protection And this bubble of protection helps to block out negativity, fear, and doubt. And yet, it's not a wall, a solid wall. It's a permeable wall. And the permeability is the fact that you have a life force and it can radiate and it can grow. 
that sometimes in order for something to grow, there needs to be some kind of container. And that's what we'll create now with our awareness and breath. So you can do this practice um, mostly with your awareness on your torso. So the base of your body as the base of your pelvis and the top of your head as the top of your container. We'll begin by taking in a slow, deep breath and bring your awareness out in front of you from the, from the pelvic floor up and around the front side of your body to the top of your head. And then exhale your awareness down and out from the top of your head to your pelvic floor. So you create a, um, an oval shape of awareness, inhaling from the base of the pelvis, uh, up and out in front of you to the top of your head, and then exhale awareness over the head and down the back side to the base of the spine. And do one more breath with your awareness moving in this direction, this oval shape. Now when your awareness comes back to the base of the pelvis, this time inhale awareness up the back, over the top of the head, and exhale awareness down the front side of the body to the base of the pelvis. Inhale, awareness comes up the back side of the body, up and over the head, and exhale, awareness down the front side of the body to the pelvis. Do one more breath like this. And the next time your awareness arrives at the base of the pelvis, we're going to take our attention to a side moving um, circle. So we'll inhale, awareness starts at the base of the pelvis and it's going to come up the left side of your body up and over the top of your head and you'll exhale awareness goes down the right side of the body to the base of the pelvis so you're just going to make a big circle around you more like an oval so it's not um, along the body's boundaries it's around the body surrounding the body inhaling up the left side and exhaling down the right side In a slow, relaxed way. And then the next time your awareness goes to the pelvis, then change directions, inhaling up the right side, over the head and down, exhaling to the left side. Inhaling up the right side, Feeling so your awareness is creating this circle around you, exhaling down the left. And then you'll do about one more breath here. And then once your awareness reaches the pelvic floor, you'll notice that we did both directions or as a circle or an oval around the front and back side of the body. And we did both directions around the, the sides of the body, the left and the right side of the body. Now we're going to do a diagonal. So as you breathe in from the base of the pelvis, feel or visualize awareness going diagonally up the left front side over the head and exhale down the right back side of your body. So you'll inhale up the left front side so in a diagonal and exhale down 
the back right side. One more breath, peeling up the diagonal left side, exhaling down diagonal right side. Back until your awareness sets at the pelvic floor and then we'll change directions. Inhale awareness rises up the back right side on a diagonal, exhaling down the front left side. Reaching the pelvic floor and then inhaling awareness up the back right side. And exhaling awareness down the front left side. And allow one more rotation, inhaling. And exhaling until your awareness comes back to the pelvic floor. And then we'll complete with the last diagonal. So we'll inhale awareness up the front right side, diagonally going over the head and exhale awareness down the back left side. Coming back around to the pelvic floor, encircling you with prana, inhaling up the front right side and exhaling down the back left side. And do one more breath in this direction. And the next time your awareness reaches the base of the pelvis, change direction so you'll inhale awareness comes up the back left side, over the head, exhaling awareness down the front right side. Diagonal movement, inhaling up the back left. Over the head and exhaling down the front right. Underneath the base of the pelvis, the last breath. Inhaling up the back left. Over the head. And exhale down the front right. Ending right at the base of the pelvis. And take a moment to sense your entire body and the space surrounding your body. It's a field of prana, of life force, that creates a healthy, permeable membrane. And inside this membrane, inside this bubble, your prana, your life force, can grow, can be contained so there's some power in it. It's not just dispersed and dissipated. And yet, this membrane isn't closing off to the world or to the people around you. There's an ability for your life force once it is being pulled in, harnessed, you can still shower others around you with light. But it's like a force field that also protects where darkness cannot enter, fear and doubt cannot exist in the company of this light. There's no need to push away fear, pain, or doubt. We simply start to hone in this light. And the light naturally disperses fear and pain and doubt leaving you with the core of your being. Steady. At ease in this moment. And 
you can remain here as long as you like. And you can practice this as often as you like because your breath and your awareness are available to you 24 seven. Take a deep breath in and out. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel your heartbeat. Take a moment to honor the life you have. Take a moment to consider anything and everything you have gratitude for right here and now. And recognize that there is a stillness, a peace, a silence that underlies all of the activity of this life everything that's going on around you. There's a power and a presence, an intelligence and a love that sustains it all, that's holding you. Feel that, honor that. 